Psalm 23 is so familiar for many of us that we often just let the words roll over us without paying too much attention to what they mean. They are a source of comfort in their familiarity, but they're also a source of comfort in what these words actually mean. The psalm falls into three parts. The first section, verses 1 through 3, describes the present earthly blessings of those who call that the Lord is their shepherd. The imagery is that of a well-cared-for sheep and all that constitutes the good life for a sheep. Green pastures, clear, abundant, still water, complete safety and security in the care of a good and loving shepherd. The last section, the third section of the psalm, found in verses 5 and 6, are a poetic description of the blessings of a heaven-like time of being in a protected palace, sitting at a sumptuous meal, in the most intimate fellowship with the Lord who has chosen to provide love and mercy forever. But today I would like to call our attention to the second section of this psalm, which consists of one verse. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. This verse opens up the sobering subject that has haunted all of us over the last year of this pandemic. It names that shadow that has claimed over 7, 575,000 of us in the United States and over 3 million in the rest of the world. Though it is not new, this is the same shadow that hangs over people of color whenever there is an encounter with the police. It is the shadow that many of us fear most of all death. If ever there was a year when we are living in the shadow of death, it is this year. Who among us has not lost a loved one, or been to an online memorial service, or doubly grieved with a loved one whose loss could not have a service or a time to gather and hug and remember? The killing of George Floyd less than a year ago triggered a worldwide protest against unjust killing of people of color. And that killing of Asian and black people particularly continues to this day. This year has seen an epidemic of unpredictable, horrific mass shootings in every corner of our country and in nearly every venue. This has been a terrible year in the valley of the shadow of death. <clears throat> this psalm tells us that God cares for his sheep during life, but God's care does not stop there. God also cares for his sheep when they die. And this fact surely is a comfort to us at times like this, when so many have been pulled untimely into the shadow of death. Permit me to digress for a minute with a story. A woman was visiting the Washington National Zoo and was walking through the reptile house, and which as many of you know, is filled with snakes and lizards and lots of creepy crawlers. Suddenly the lights failed, plunging the building into complete darkness. As the woman stood there, Wondering what to do next, she felt a tiny shaking hand grasp her sleeve and then grab tightly onto her hand. Recognizing that it must be a child from one of the visiting groups, the woman smiled and said, Well now, and who do you belong to? A tiny trembling voice replied, I belong to you until the lights come back on. Facing the darkness of the shadow of death alone 
is an intimidating prospect. But like the little boy in the reptile house, we are not alone. The psalm says, in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. As we have walked through the valley of the shadow of death this last year, what is it that enables us to fear no evil? Whose hand do we reach out to in that dark valley? What is it that assures us that thou art with me? This psalm alone does not give us the full story. So let's turn our attention to the New Testament, which does give us some answers to these questions. Today's Gospel from John picks up the theme of the Good Shepherd. Jesus says, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. I have received this power from my Father. Jesus is not just holding our hand as we pass through the valley of the shadow of death. He has been there before. He has already passed through that valley. He has laid down his life for us sheep. He experienced a crucifixion death. He suffered the worst that death can do, and he was raised from the dead. In this way, Jesus not only leads us in the way through that valley, he becomes the way. Elsewhere in John, he tells his disciples, I go to prepare a place for you, and I will come back and take you to be with me, so that where I am, you may be also. He says to Thomas after the resurrection, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, asks, If God is for us, who can be against us? Jesus Christ, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is there interceding for us. Paul says that when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Jesus himself stands at the right hand of God and speaks for us. Even in heaven, he acts as our good shepherd. We can imagine Jesus saying something like this, Father, here is our servant, George Floyd. We love him and remember, I went through the valley of the shadow for him. Yes, like every human, he wasn't perfect, but I am claiming him now. Have mercy on him and let's welcome him into our heavenly kingdom. We could have no better advocate to represent us before God than his son, Jesus. And therefore, we may confidently claim the comfort and the blessings of Psalm 23. Jesus has been to that valley and has conquered its power and promises to bring us safely into his resurrection and new life. <clears throat> it is his hand that reaches out to us in the darkness of the valley of the shadow and leads us on. He goes ahead of us to prepare a place for us. As we continue this year to struggle through these pandemics of COVID-19, of racial injustice and unpredictable mass shootings, each of us continues to be confronted with the possibility of our own death, which is a necessary risk of being human. Someday, the walker through the valley of death 
will be you, and it will be me. The hope that we reach out for is that in that moment, thou art with me, the presence of Jesus Christ. He bore the ravages of death himself. He died and defeated the powers of death and rose victorious to new life. And in so doing, he became our good shepherd. The words of Psalm 23 are some of the most beautiful and comforting words in the entire Bible. And they are words that we can treasure because we have come to trust in him who is our good shepherd, Jesus. And therefore we can at this difficult time truly claim the comfort and the promise of Psalm 23. We can trust in our good shepherd so that when our time comes, we may also walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fearing no evil, holding the hand of our shepherd, confident in the faith that this valley is also the way to eternal life. Amen.